snap is back. It's the day after a Cowboys loss, which means everyone around Cowboys Nation thinks the starting quarterback is terrible. Incomplete. It's really a weekly thing around the NFL, especially after week one. You win, you're playoff bound. You lose, everyone stinks, your coach is getting fired, and the QB can't hit the broadside of a barn. Well, it wasn't good enough on offense, uh, really, from top to bottom. Uh, we didn't run it well enough, we didn't throw it well enough, and, and Dak was certainly a part of that. But how much a part of it was he? We broke down all 29 of Dak Prescott's throws from Sunday in terms of how far downfield the ball traveled in the air. And on the short throws, 10 yards or less downfield, Prescott was good. 16 of 19 combined for 121 yards. But it was on the throws further downfield where he struggled. A combined 3 for 10 for 49 yards on balls that traveled 10 yards or more in the air. The lack of production is concerning, but worse still, the lack of attempts deep downfield at all. Only one throw, 20 plus yards downfield, and it was woefully off target. The time to throw some of those vertical passes maybe wasn't there, or if they were called, we had to get the ball underneath a little bit more. Uh, but, but again, you want to stretch the defense, you want to attack them vertically and horizontally in the passing game. They didn't on Sunday. But the receivers carry some of that blame after struggling to create enough separation to give Prescott somewhere to throw the ball. And the offensive coordinator, Scott Linehan, he's on the hook too. I have a tremendous amount of faith in Scott. And, uh, you know, we just have to do a, a better job collectively as a staff and as an offensive unit uh, to help us move the football and score some points. Move the ball, as in downfield. Worth trying more than once in week two. Mike Leslie, Channel 8 Sports.